Hello, and today I'm reviewing Sister's Faith, the concluding book in the Cahill Witch Chronicles. This is the third one, so I guess it's a trilogy. I give this book five out of five stars, which means it was amazing. For an ending, this was perfect. I think that this series is a really good series for women who like to think about what they read. Because I want to I want to just go back in history a little bit to the Salem Witch Trials and when women were actually accused of being witches, they were, or men, there was one man who was accused, they were either thrown in prison, hung, or they were killed. Um, this world is very much set up like that, but witches are real. And it's more about the oppression of women. They can't really, they can't, they can't have jobs. They, um, they can't do anything besides be a wife, a mother, or a daughter. That's pretty much it, or else there are none. That's, that's your options. You either get married and have kids, or you become a nun. And that's pretty, but the nuns are actually a secret group of Witches. Every single one of them are witches. And they fight these people called the Brotherhood, who is like a government, but it's like controlled by men. So, the Brotherhood is the one who kills all the girls or imprisons them. So, in the second book, we saw that the war was heating up and that things had to come to a stop. In this one, it's like all that comes to a head really, really quickly. And at the same time, the three sisters are facing their own problems because Mora erased Kate's boyfriend's memory. And Tessa is dealing with her visions and she's afraid that she's going to go crazy because most, um, oh my god, Sears, another word for Sears, goes nuts. So, she's dealing with her own stuff. They're all dealing with their own stuff. Mora is in love with another woman who is in love with her back, but Mora just can't help her jealousy feelings. So, she's, she's kind of like, they're, they're trying to work things out, but at the same time, like, it's not working out because she's being such an arrogant twit about it. So, they're having their own problems, and at the same time, they have to figure out how to get this war over and done with. And Tessa is supposed to be the one who causes it all. She's not even of age. But it all comes to a head and the book ends. And the beginning book kind of told us where it was going to go. Um, one of the sisters was going to kill the other one. That was the prophecy. So we kind of knew what direction it was headed in. I didn't actually think that it was going to happen, though. I didn't think it was going to happen. And if I did think it was going to happen, I thought that Kate and Mora would either... One of them would kill each other. But um, I was quite shocked with what happened. So, this is a really super good book. Like I said, it really deals with the oppression of women. There's like a big theme of oppression in this book. So... I give it 5 out of 5 stars. I really think that this is a great young adult novel. The women in it are super, super strong characters. And, you know, I think this is a great book for any girl to read. Because it is really about the empowerment of women. And becoming powerful and being true to yourself. It's it's amazing. That's That's all I can say. I love this series. I'm so sad that I picked up on the bandwagon way, way, way late, right before the last book was coming out. I mean, I've read all three of these books within the last year. I really hit the ba bandwagon really late on this one, and I was really, really sad about that, because I would have loved anticipating the releases of this, because it was that good. The first book was tantalizing, the second book was infuriating, and the, this one, the third one, the last one, was just satisfying. It was so satisfying. I absolutely adored it. I loved it. So like, comment, and subscribe. And next, I am reading 
quite the quirky book here and I absolutely love it. So far I'm about halfway through. It's called Small Persons with Wings. They Hate to be Called Fairies by Ellen Borum. Borum? I don't know. I cannot say that name. But um, it's really, really lovely. And this is like actually like about fairies. Do you know how many books I read that are actually like got fairies in them? Very, very few. So this is what I'm reading and this is what you'll have to look forward to. But I also have a couple of really, really hot books coming up. Rooms by Lauren Oliver. Um, oh, God, I can't think. It is another... Oh, my God. I got Virals. And... Um, indelible yes that's what the other one was called indelible so lots of stuff to look forward to rooms is probably the most famous by Lauren Oliver and that's what I'll be reading after I read this one so like comment and subscribe and I will see you soon